And to do that, uh, it, it takes quite a bit of intelligence. They're not fed by anybody. They've got to go out and do it. I mean, these are pretty bleak and harsh conditions, aren't they? Have you ever observed wolves before in the snow? Well, I have, but I haven't observed these in the snow. Um, this is the first time that I actually have been sitting at this den while it started snowing and laid down this much snow. So it's, it's interesting to watch them. Yeah. All three of them. That's a bit of hair's bone. So, I think so, yeah. But it's the first time these cubs had ever seen snow. Watching wolves like this, it's hard to imagine that man could have ever undertaken a campaign to exterminate every last wolf in the USA. But that's exactly what happened. And it was successful, everywhere except Alaska and Minnesota. They died agonizing deaths by poisoning and in steel-jawed traps set by the new settlers. Two million wolves. Many predators were killed often for government bounties. In European minds, the wolf was the symbol of the devil, a religious image originally from medieval bestiaries. It had to be conquered in America as it had been in Europe. The new settlers wanted the land for their cattle and for their crops. Millions of bison were killed, their skulls were ground up as bone meal. The old relationship with the land was lost. The Native Americans' respect for the wilderness and its wildlife had no value. The wolf was no longer a fellow hunter with which to identify. The next day, the sun came out, the snow melted, and the wolf family suddenly took off. In a situation like this, it's vital to follow fast. The wolves can travel for miles to find a new den site, and if Meech loses them, he may not see them again for a whole year. The island's a huge place. We thought we were keeping up, but the wolves gave us the slip. How long has it been now since, do you figure, since we last saw them? About four hours. I think, uh, you know, what we can do here, it's really calm, and I can howl, and if they're anywhere around this area, Okay. They'll reply. You keep your ears open, though, because uh, my ears aren't too good. I got them. Well, you can see? I got them. I got the whole family. Where, where, where? Right, um... Oh, I can see them with the naked eye. Uh, they're this, they're right straight in line with the point. Uh, I've got them. You got them? Yeah, right yes, straight in line with the point. Yes, I can see where they are. We've found them. The cubs are on their own. The parents have left to go hunting together. Their mood is determined. They're up to something. Up in the Arctic, prey animals are few and far between. So these wolves have a big territory, a thousand square miles or more. They can't visit it all when they've got cubs, but they mark patches of it vigorously. If they smell another wolf, they mark on top of its scent and scratch as if trying to remove every trace of them from the face of the earth. What they're actually doing is marking the ground with glands in their feet. 
If they catch a strange wolf, they'll try to kill it. Many wolves die in fights over territory. There's no love lost on strangers. They're heading for some musk ox. The female has a scar on her back leg from an earlier encounter with a musk ox horn. Musk ox can kick and slash violently, but they're a big prize worth fighting for. The wolves have locked onto the herd of musk ox. They're panicking them, trying to find a weak one. They've got a calf almost out of sight and they managed to demolish it before we got there. Later, the wolves managed to grab an older musk ox. By the time we found the kill, they'd eaten most of that, too. The female's been feeding the cubs. Now she's back for more meat. Some strange wolves have been to the carcass. We could tell by the way the wolves scratched the ground so aggressively. Arctic hares are the major food the wolves go for. At six weeks old, they're already highly agile. Our last day in the Arctic. We want to see the family for the last time. They're all together. This is incredible. It looks like the old man's bringing the wolf cubs out to meet us. great animal. He's letting the wolf cubs come right up close to me. Can't believe it. One of them even takes a bit of my lunch. Let's have my finger off next. During our last few hours on the island, Meech took me up onto the ridge above the camp. He wanted to say goodbye to the wolves. Want to give it a go? Well, why don't you try? <laughs> I mean, I don't know how to howl. You're the expert. 
Well, give it a try. <laughs> Anybody can do it. Look, you, you just take a couple of big, deep breaths yeah. to make the howl carry, you know, for a long time. And distance. just howl and, like a wolf. And howl like a wolf. Yeah, I mean, you howl like a wolf. That's very good. Oh, let's yeah, do it together. Yeah, let's, 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 you show me the proper way to do it. Right? Yeah. Right there on the top. Oh yeah, got him. I've yeah, got him. Yeah, right in that slot there. Yeah. Look, I think there's some other cubs up just to our right. Yeah, just to, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Look, he's at, he's, he's come forward. Yes, like a... Yeah. He's come to check us out. Yeah, he is. About 150 yards forward, certainly. Oh! Nietzsche's share with us has been a great privilege. The wolf is a hunter, but there's no record of a healthy wolf ever killing a human being in America. The wolf kills large game animals and occasionally domestic stock. It leaves blood on the snow. It will always have an eerie howl. It may sometimes catch rabies. But the wolf itself is neither to be feared nor hated. It's neither dangerous nor evil nor malicious. It's simply the wolf, and that's a smart animal trying to make a living under tough conditions. <laughs>